waiting up for the girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you become a detective. Can't you see them in the morning? I want they should tell me about the party. In the morning, they can tell you just as good. By morning, they'll forget something. All right, all right, but I'm going to bed. Mm. What time is it? Time? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Sixteen minutes after twelve. Papa, before you go, dial me up a number on the telephone. Uh, couldn't you do it yourself? I'm sleepy. My fingers is too big for the hole. All right, use a lead pencil. Good night, Mama. Uh, good night, Papa. <laughs> Papa, wait a minute. What's the telephone number from Horowitz's? Which Horowitz? That the girls are at a party, you know, the sickly one. Oh, you mean Mo Horowitz? Oh. Uh, let's see, Mo, it's the main... Uh, main, uh, 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 main 3489. Papa, how you spell main in English? Mama, main is in English. Oh, Jake, it'll take you such less time to get me the number than to tell me how to get it and to spell long voice like Maine. Please, that you could already serve maybe an hour. All right, all right, Mom. I'll get you the number, but you're going to have to hang up yourself. Here, look, I'll show you how to use the phone. For Maine, you dial M-A. Mm. M is here. Look. Oh. M is the crooked one. Mm -hmm. And A is this one. And A, I already know, like in heavy Uh-huh. And 3489, I'll show you. $34.89, that you can write. Well, that's easy. I didn't know it was like that. All right, let me see you get it. Right. M, A, 3, 4, 8, 9. That's easy, all but the M. Hello? Hello? Mama, mama, wait till the end, sir. Am I hanging up? Hello? Mrs. Horowitz? Sadie? Hello, how are you? <laughs> Speak a little louder, please. Yeah, this is Mrs. Jake Bloom. I'm all right. How's by you? How's business? Hmm. By us, it's the same, too. Uh, tell me something. Could I maybe speak to my daughter, Yetta? Or Yetta's left? Yeah. Uh, come over and see me sometime. How's Lily's door? That's too bad. Huh? How did it happen? <gasps> Ain't that terrible? Well, say, what can you do? You got a bear and green it. I'll tell you now, this comes everything. If you ain't got the voice luck, so goodbye. Oh, well, what's the matter? What's the matter? Was he killed? Was he run over? No, poor Isabel. No, 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 tell me. What is it? What is it? You know, he was going to get graduated today, so yeah, she yeah. got him a new suit. Yeah, yeah. Dressed him all up and started him off for school. And yeah. just as he was crossing the street... An automobile hit him. No, he fell down. And broke his leg. No, no. Well, well, what is it? He tore a hole right in his new pants. Oh, they is me. So terrible that ain't. It could have been worse. Yeah, he could have torn the coat. <laughs> Here I am, sitting up in the middle of the night, talking about coats and pants. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, weren't our girls there? They left half an hour ago. Well, where are they? Maybe they stopped someplace. Uh, well, that they could have been hungry. Hungry after our party? What kind of a party is that? Who knows what kind of parties people go to nowadays? Jay, parties nowadays is like parties. Any days, they play games. But not kissing games. Not kissing games. Who oh, knows? Maybe kissing games. Mm -hmm. If I catch them playing kissing games, I'll, I'll break their necks. Mm, Jake, you used to like kissing games. Oh, well, I was crazy, too. Why were you crazy? How do I know why I was crazy? I, I was just crazy. I used to like kissing games, and I wasn't crazy. Uh, you were crazy, too. Hmm. You remember 22 years ago last Thursday? Uh, now you're talking like a district attorney. How can I remember that far back? I remember that far. I went to a party in the old country, and we was playing a kissing game. A crazy kissing game. And my partner was a good-looking young fellow. <laughs> he wasn't so good-looking. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was very good-looking. And he was very kind, and he was nice. And he had an brown suit with his father's boots. You remember those boots, Jake? Do I remember them? Do I remember them? <laughs> they were too small for me. They hurt my feet to walk in them. Mm. And I had on a red dress. Ah, such a beautiful dress. Trimmed with bees. Mm -hmm. 
Jake was I pretty then? Uh, you're beautiful now. No, no, I'm fat. No, no, you're just the right size. Becky, you know I can remember how those boots hurt my feet. Mm. And you walked six miles home with me just to finish the kissing cake. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Jake. Did your boots hurt you on the way home, too? Did they? <laughs> Mama, to this day, I never told anybody. But listen, on the way home, I carried the boots and walked home in my socks. To this day, I never told you either that I knew it. What? How did you know it? From the window I watched, I saw you take them home. And still, they can't play kissing games. I don't like it. Who said they was playing? I'm going to stay up and find out. I thought you were sleeping. I talked myself right away. Where can they be this long? Mm. Maybe they had an accident. Something like Isidore. The papers are full from accidents. Jake, do you think something could have happened? No, no, no. Nothing could happen. You can't tell. From Horowitz's to here is a long way. There's lots of streets full of crazy drivers. I'll bet they was crossing the street and Those something... Those fellows took them there in a taxi. They'll bring them home in a taxi. Maybe something happened to the taxi. Mama, why are you aggravating yourself? You could have called for them yourself and brought them home. I asked you if you wanted me to do that, and you told me it wouldn't look right. Why do you pay any attention to me? What do you want me to do? What do you want from my life? You should have called for them and brought them home. But you told me not to, Mama. Our daughter's lives are in danger, and he listens to me. All right, maybe nothing happened. The streets are full of taxi cabs flying around. The hold-up men on every corner, and you say nothing happened. Oh, yeah, I wish I would have gone to bed. Jay, can't be called the police. It all comes from kissing games. You see, if they didn't play kissing games, they would be home earlier. If they were home earlier, there wouldn't be any hold-up men. It's no use. They're laying dead in some alley, and you're sitting here laughing. I am not laughing. It's the same as though you were laughing. What are you doing? There's no use arguing with me. I know just what happened. They met a fiend. How can you be so sure? Papa, I can feel it in my bones. You can't fool a mother. Call up the police right away. Call up all the hospitals. That's where they are in a hospital. Take the phone books. Take the... What are you waiting for? Give me my eyeglasses. Give me my eyeglasses. Thought is a dying in hospital. My Who eyeglasses. He's asking for his eyeglasses. I want to look up the numbers, Mama. Where am I? I want to look... Look it up I... in a hurry. Hello, Pa. Hello. Trying to find a number? I'll look it up for you. Where have you been? Well, we walked home. I am going to bed. Such a scare I never had in my life. I told you nothing happened. Next time your papa calls for you. Oh, don't be a seal, Ma. Oh, we, we, we. Such another evening's excitement I couldn't stand. Oh, yeah, we was terrible worried. Your papa voiced it in me. He was going to call up the police. Oh, my goodness, I'm glad you didn't do that. Kissing games is what caused it. That is the trouble today. What kissing games? Kissing like you played at the party. Oh, nobody plays kissing games. They're out of date. What did you do then? Oh, we turned on the radio and danced for a while. Then Joe Cohn played the piano and his sister sang, and well, some of them played bridge. Boy, you're certainly old-fashioned to talk about kissing games. Hmm. Well, tell me some more about the party. Did you have a good time? I guess so. You guess so? What's the matter? Weren't you there? There wasn't anything particularly exciting. Just a party. How were your dresses? All right. Talk about dresses. You should have seen the, the dress Helen Zuckstein had on. She bought it in Paris. Gee, I wish I could go to Paris. I wish I could go to bed. Go to bed. What are you waiting up for? I told you two hours ago to go to sleep. That dress was the prettiest thing I ever saw in my life. No sleeves and cut very low in the back. Yeah, I bet they ran out of goods. Oh, don't be silly. It was from the biggest dressmakers in Paris. They make hundreds of gowns. Sure, the more dresses they make, the quicker they run out of goods. Oh, you should have seen her, Mark. She was the hit of the party. All the fellows crowded around her. Your Sydney, too? No. Eh, what do you care, then? Oh, I bet she'll get a swell fella. Right. Well, she was the life of the party. Always laughing and joking and making wisecracks. She never stopped for a second, Ma. Mm, you think fellas like that, huh? I'm sure they do. I don't think so. Oh, you're old-fashioned. Why, you don't understand. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Still, why shouldn't I understand? But things are different nowadays. You're right. Things are different, but people are the same. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah, they are. People are exactly the same. When I was a young girl, they rode bicycles. Now they fly around in airplanes. Everything is new fashion, but people are still the same people. When a young man looks at a girl, exactly the same thing is in his mind as when your papa looked at me. 
How do you think I caught your papa with flypaper? Oh, papa. Him. By him? What's the matter with your papa? Do you think he wasn't by young fella, too? Say, papa, did you... <laughs> yes, yeah, he's fast asleep down the chair. <laughs> Let him sleep. It'll do him good. But papa wasn't romantic. Sarah, romance is one thing. Our husband is something else again. Helen Zuckstein in a fancy French dress is all right to look at. But even today, a young fella's got too much sense to pick out a wife like he picks out a necktie. A wife should look like a wife, not a chorus girl. Oh, don't you think it helps the girl to be good-looking? Sure, sure, darling. It helps her. But if the fellow who's doing the looking has got something inside his head besides oatmeal, he wants something besides looks. What good is fancy fingernails when the baby's crying? What good is our drugstore complexion when the dishes need washing? <laughs> you can't scrub a floor in a fancy French dress even without a back. Maybe you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's the same way when you're picking out a husband. Most times a good dancer makes a bum businessman. A poet will bring you home a rose, but you can't eat it. Well, sometimes roses are nice. Sure, they're nice, yet, uh, But when you're hungry, cabbage smells better. It's like that fancy French dress Helen Zuckstein wore. With a dress like that, you gotta have lots of other dresses. But with a substantial piece of merchandise like you got on, you can get along for a long time. Hmm. Understand? Uh-huh. Hmm. So when you're picking out a husband, take something maybe not so fancy in the first place. As long as it should bear better in the long run. Even then you're taking a chance. Hmm. You've got an old head and a young neck, Sarah. Of course you're taking a chance. Sometimes the sweetest apples make the sourest vinegar. The only thing you can do is to pick what looks like the best apple, and if it turns sour, who can tell? Maybe by that time you'll like vinegar. <laughs> Papa! Papa! <laughs> yeah? What is it? What do you want? Wake up. It's time to go to sleep. Oh.